Hey guys, it's Shane with Lightspeed Construction and Roofing on a nice winter day here in Mars Hill, North Carolina. We're looking today, commercial roof. Has a parapet wall up front there. Slopes that way. Slo well, will when we're done. Slope this way to this wall and then put a hip from that corner out to this corner and slope out that way as well. Right now we've got a mono slope that's holding a lot of water. If you can see here, there's a large puddle all through here and then goes out around to that side of the building. We'll make it over there as well. And we've got a large puddle area, ponding area here as well. Uh, those are actually deep enough to have ice on them this morning. So what we're here for is the adhesion of the product that was put on top. You can see this is just coming off okay so the adhesion is not doing very well but as you come over to areas of the roof where there is no ponding water like right here you see i can scrape with my fingernail i'm not getting anything coming up um, the fact that it's so stark from areas that have ponding water sitting on them as i got here this morning as you can see here it just comes up and then in the areas that are dry, which are kind of hard to find, um, you really don't have anything coming up. I'm getting a little bit of peeling there, but this is kind of wet too. So I think that this product, even if the roof was cleaned properly, which is questionable, I'm just gonna kind of walk as I talk here about what I see. I think that what we have is a product that was applied and then either before it completely dried or cured, as we say, which with Geico would probably be like 72 hours. Um, there was either ponding water or some sort of moisture on the roof. It rained, maybe not a ton, but it was enough to pond the water and fail the adhesion between the new Geico product and the existing roof. If we go over here, this is one of the deeper areas. You can see what section of the roof we're on. That's the deepest by far in that corner. But this is actually has some ice on top of it this morning. That water is deep enough. As we walk out here in the middle, you know, I'm on the ice. We're easily at an inch and a half right there, an inch. Um, as I go further in, it'd get a little bit deeper. That corner over there, is too deep to walk in with sneakers i'd say it's probably about three inches total at the deepest area so uh, i had to look where i was walking and you see the ponding water comes all the way to the edge here in this corner so i think that a tapered board system you know dry this roof off get all the water off of it cut the tpo up at the head wall where there's some pulling i can come over and show you that but cut that TPO to lay it flat and then install. This is what I'm talking about when I say pulling. You can see the, the TPO doesn't go down to the deck um, from the coping wall. So cut that, lay it flat, get a ISO board, taper board system in here to run this roof and fall it that way. We can put a hip over there, kicking some of the water to the gutter on that side of the building. The same thing here, we can run a hip from this corner out to that corner, push water this way on the roof, and push water to that back side. Pretty simple solution, just needs to be done correctly. This is Shane again with Lightspeed Roofing and Construction. Pretty cool little commercial roof. Hopefully we can uh, solve this issue for the homeowner. If you have any roofing issues at all, please give us a call. Lightspeed Roofing and Construction. Thanks guys.